Hey guys, we are a couple days from our official grand opening here at uh, Jump Ship Kailua. And we want to take uh, a moment to talk about how we're going to take the Jump Ship class programming and implement it here in a gym that's a little different maybe from some other gyms you've been to. It's a little smaller, limited equipment, we do have fewer members, but we're going to talk about how it can be implemented here the same way it's implemented in 30-something different gyms all around the world. Um, yeah, where do you want to start? Um, yeah, so our jump ship training program is obviously has like the reputation of being a like competitive programming, which it is, but we have taken that and morphed it into an affiliate class programming that is not necessarily made for like only competitive athletes. Um, it essentially runs on 60 minutes and then we have our competitive extra piece, which is similar to the last piece of our jump ship training program each day. Um, but the physical class is very similar to what you would see in whatever your normal CrossFit gym is. We tend to stick to the CrossFit methodology um, of GPP, um, but then you might have heard we talk about our jump ship training program as competitive GPP. But either way, everything we do is very CrossFit. Um, we kind of tend to stick away from cycles um, that you might see, like we don't really do, yeah, any strength cycles. The only thing that we really train for every year is like the open. So you'll see kind of a shift in programming, uh, maybe a little bit different than the rest of the year, basically right when you guys get in here. So December and January, February, we're kind of leading into the open. Um, yeah, I think the biggest difference you'll notice between like uh, what a typical GPP program looks like and what we do with our competitive GPP is that each day we try to give a well-rounded dose of fitness. So each day there's some kind of strength component, some kind of skill component, whether it's separate or included in the conditioning piece, and then a dose of conditioning. Whereas a typical GPP would focus on one, sometimes only one, or a combination of things uh, in a day. But every day we try to give you a little dose of everything uh, to make sure you're as well-rounded as you can be. And it's also like more fun than what you might typically see of just GPP. Yeah. So the strength guys and girls get their dose of strength and the, um, those with the great engine get to showcase that as well, usually on a daily basis. Yeah, so um, if you wanna talk a little bit about like the kind of shift into what we're gonna see for like the open stuff going forward. Yeah, so um, starting in December, which is our grand opening, the first. In two days. In two days, yeah. And, and through January until the open comes around in, uh, in the beginning of February, you're gonna see more open style training. And what I mean by that is more often you're gonna get movements that you would find programmed in the open. You're gonna find styles of workouts, which is not, you know, crazy. Could it's just AMRAPs yeah. and rounds. Sometimes they have rest in the open now. You'll have more styles of, of workouts like that. And there may be days where you're lifting after your workout, which kind of simulates that workout, then find the one rep max or whatever it is that they would challenge you in the open for. So you'll find more tests and training pieces that are similar to what we could expect in the open. And with that comes open retest wads, which you'll find quite a bit. And you'll find um, old school CrossFit benchmarks, a lot of the, the girl named workouts in there. Those are just really simple, straight to the point, and reflect really well on how you'll do in the open based on how you do on these benchmarks. It and just, then how did you implement the gymnastics stuff too? For recharge or in general? Oh, you're talking about like the test. So, yeah. so the, the gymnastics, we're gonna test ourselves a bit as we build through this too. So at the, at the end of the day, usually you may find some just sets of gymnastics works built in. Sometimes it's the competitor extra, sometimes it's built into the Metcon itself. And then there'll be some days we're actually gonna test like a max set of something or as many reps of something as you can do in X amount of time, a couple minutes, things like that. You'll find more often so that you really have an understanding of where your gymnastics capacity is now and kind of where you wanna build it over the next couple months before the open gets here. Yeah, um, and then back to just like our gym programming in general, what you're gonna see that we have either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday every week is what we call a recharge day. Um, that's for you guys who like to come to the gym seven days a week um, and try to smash yourself seven days a week. So basically what it is, it's a built-in kind of a barbell-less day, kind of like not weight training, kind of easier on the joints, though can still be used as a terrible workout. So you're going to see kind of longer AMRAPs, longer AMRAPs a lot of machine work, yeah. running, burpees, People air squats. would call it engine work. Yeah, just, and, yeah. and depending on how you feel on that Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday that it may fall on, you get to decide, kind of like she said, 
whether you want to push really hard or choose a pace that you want to see if you can hold or maybe it is used as active recovery because you have come three days in a row and it's been a very challenging three days and you need a day that's uh, you know easier on the body kind of like she said so you can just go through the motions and make it active rest yeah we did this at our other gym before and some of the days that people were feeling good it would be super competitive day like if yeah. it's like rowing for calories or intervals or something like that um, so it could be like a super tough workout but it can also be like you said, like a, re like a recharge day. So just be a day it. to get sweaty and feel good and then, yeah, rest it up for inevitable barbell work to come the next day. Yeah, so again, the biggest thing that we wanna kind of take away from this video, I think, is that like obviously jump ship training is built off of our jump ship 90 program. So for some of you people who are competitives and want more, you can still just follow our jump ship 90 and it's very similar to our affiliate program. So maybe the jump ship 90 is an extra round or heavier weights or longer AMRAP and we've kind of scaled it back for the class. But like you could come in here and still be a part of the class, but maybe your workout, maybe you're doing the, the 90s like sp the spin of that. So then you're, you can kind of still be a part of the community without doing your own program in the corner like by yourself, like you're still doing the jump ship program. Yeah, the gyms that follow it have coaches and owners who want a little more than the 60 minute affiliate class and so they follow the jump ship 90 as their training program, but they're getting such a similar workout to their class, they can give their experience from that training to the class as the best way to approach something. A lot of times in a class, it's just maybe one less round on a Metcon, or a little less weight on the barbell, or a, l a few um, less reps in some uh, high school gymnastics movement. But all in all, it's a very similar stimulus. It's just delivered in a more um, appropriate package for the masses. Yeah, and beyond that, like we are gonna take the jump ship class programming and adapt it to better fit our gym. So like we're working with a smaller gym, we're also doing a small membership base, like we're not gonna take more than 100 members here, but we also have limited equipment, which is fine. We're just gonna adapt the workouts to that and our other affiliate owners who follow like do that as well. So, you know, if they have certain limited amount of rowers or certain wall balls, like whatever, like we'll adapt it to make sure it works in here. So just like, so you guys know, we're not just like, dropping this template even though Seth like writes it we're not just saying like here this is what you guys are doing like we are going to customize it further to make sure it works for our space and for you guys and make sure that like they're getting what they need it's part of why if you follow the affiliate class uh, through train heroic if you're a subscriber you can get your workouts almost 20 days in advance because it does take you know or it can depending on how uh, thorough you want to be it can take a little bit of time to go through and make sure that every detail is worked out ahead of time for your coach if you're that type of gym owner or head coach or whatever if you really want to deliver the details ahead of time you can do that or if you'd like to have your coaches figure it out and adjust the logistics as they go from class to class which makes a lot of sense in some, some places people, yeah. um, that's fine too but we do try to get it to people ahead of time because in our circumstance if Every person in class needed a rower. Well, we have five working rowers right now, so we'd have to find a way to kind more of- More on the way. Turn, yeah, more on the way, but we may have to turn a 20 minute AMRAP into a minute on, minute off, where you're switching back and forth. And there are still COVID restrictions. A lot of gyms are going through, some gyms are still closed. So those, uh, those changes are, are very necessary, especially when we talk about distancing and not sharing equipment, things like that. Yeah, I guess the last like thing is just, like through the train heroic app once we open we're going to give you guys access to your workouts four days in advance so you guys can kind of better plan your week um, or cherry pick the days you don't want to come like we're giving you that option um, so there's that and then anything else no I think that's it I think that's pretty good the, the gym members are gonna you, you guys are coming in in two days one day from now or so yeah. so you're gonna experience this firsthand um, you'll find that sometimes if there's a busier class in the morning or not as busy at night the workout may slightly alter to fit you know what it is that, that class needs to get done and also like super important flexible. thing like again this doesn't have to be or and it's not gonna be like a competitor only gym right like, we've been doing this a long time this is our what, our seventh gym together together well, not or together no, in total like seventh more gym? it's more than that yeah we've had a yeah. lot of gyms so we've done this a Between lot the two of us, and so we feel gyms. pretty confident with like how we run things and like the changes that we'll make over you know the next couple months like this place isn't going to be perfect come tuesday we're going to keep adapting and like make it great but it's I, we don't care if you're brand new or if you're trying to get to the games like we just want a hundred people in here who like want to bust their ass that's and like it. that's going to be super fun and like just like have good a good attitude, attitude and just like want to work hard and like doesn't matter what your level is that's like yep 
rule number one. That's the only, those are the only people we can coach. So yeah. come at us with an open mind and willingness to learn and we'll teach you everything we've learned over the last decade. So that's it.